everybody welcome back to another video we hit 900 subscribers yesterday and that is super awesome thank you to everybody who has subscribed to our channel i can't wait till we hit a thousand so if you are new to our channel today please don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and go check out our instagram pages where i post daily original photos of our life our animals and everything in between so today we are going to probe our brand new babies. My brand new probe kit came in, which is right here. And I will leave uh, the link to this probe kit down in the description below um, if you wanna try it out. I'm gonna try it out today. It comes with a variety of different sizes, which I'm gonna show you in just a minute. But yes, we are going to confirm the sex on all of these. Now, <laughs> I just wanna apologize for my last video, I was a little off my rocker. I was so focused on doing the video while I was popping and sexing these little ones that, yeah, I, I don't know what I was thinking. Uh, that first one, definitely a male. That was a hemipene. I don't know. And then uh, the second normal that I did, I have repopped that one just about a day or so ago. That one, I'm pretty sure is a male as well, which confirmed... Um, our suspicions that our banana combo male who is the sire to this clutch is a female maker. So I did have a comment on the last video that had asked and said, you know, said, of course, that banana is a sex linked gene or morph, which I'll explain that real quick. So the banana gene, from my understanding, if the male comes from a female banana, which means that our male banana combo that the mother of him the dame was a female banana obviously mother female is a banana then the males from that clutch would be possibly female makers so we were not told of the pairing when we bought him we were not told if he was a female maker or not we were just you know we just liked him because of what he could make for us and we thought he was cool um but anyway so um, we are going to probe these ones just to confirm, but I am 90 to 95% sure the two normals are males. Um, not in the last video where I said they were all females, which was obviously false. The one I was sure was a male because obviously that was a hemipene. The second one, I didn't very, get a very good popping on it. So I thought it was a female, but I was still unsure. Um, I repopped it. I did see a hemipene. I'm pretty sure that's a male. And then all of the bananas are females, but Today, we are going to probe them just to get that 100%, and I'm going to show you guys how we go ahead and do that. So, oh, that was a lot. That was a mouthful. So, let's get started, and let me show you what we're going to use uh, when we probe. All right, so first, you are going to need some kind of probe kit. Now, this is the one I just purchased off of Amazon. Like I said, I'll leave the, the link down in the description below, but I like that it has a variety of sizes. And even these two small ones, if you can see, this one has a little bit bigger ball on the end than this one. So this is the one we're probably going to use today. But it's always nice to have one of these, especially when you unbox snakes or if you pick up snakes on Craigslist. Um, if you're not very good at popping, it's always good to have one of these so you can check the sex so you know what you're paying for. Because obviously, if you think you're getting a female and you pay for a female and you end up with a male, you're going to lose out on a lot of money and nobody wants that. So these are always good to have around whether you can pop or not. So we have a handy dandy pro kit. Now, when you probe, you're going to want to have some way to lube the end of these probes. You don't want to shove these into your snakes, you know, bottom half completely dry. Nobody wants something being stuck down there all nice and dry. So you can lube it up with a little bit of water. Sometimes that works. You can use KY jelly. Um, I don't prefer to use water and I don't have any K jelly on hand, so, or KY jelly. So um, we're just gonna use a tiny, tiny bit of bag ball, just enough to kind of lube the end. So that way it slides in nice and good. And then I always like to clean my probe off real quick in between each snake, uh, just for sanitary purposes. You wanna keep everything sanitary. so. We have some F10 disinfectant that I have made up in this bottle that I use for all my cleaning. So we will just have a paper towel that we can just wipe off the end real quick between each baby. So that is what we are gonna use today. All right, so just put a tiny, tiny bit of the bag bomb, just enough for me to kind of gently 
lube up the end of the probe. Um, you can't really tell, but this is actually wet with some disinfectant. That way I can just rub it off real quick. Makes it fairly simple. So these two items are going to be off to the side. And now let's get our probe and our first baby. All right. So like I said, I'm going to be using this very, very tiny one. Super, super tiny. Obviously these babies are super tiny, so you want to use the smallest one possible. We're going to take our disinfectant. And we are just going to clean this off because obviously these are brand new. So we want to make sure that they're nice and clean. So now we have a nice clean probe. Now I'm going to grab a baby. All right. So this was baby from bin number one. This is the one that popped the hemipene <laughs> that I was off my rocker about. So all we're going to do is kind of the same thing. Now for a male. The male is gonna be probably about right here. The male is gonna go down about five or six scales. So you can see his scales are gonna go down about five or six scales. If this was a female, probably only two or three scales, probably only go to about here. So we are going to, now obviously this is a lot easier with two people. So now we're just gonna, he's got a little bit of duty there. So now we're just gonna gently, and you always wanna go to one side. Um, hemipenes and glands, there's always two that spread out like this. So if you go straight in the middle, if it's a male, you're gonna get a false you know, female reading. So you always wanna make sure you go off to the side. So we're gonna just gently, and you wanna do this oh so gently, or you could risk hurting your snake. And I don't know if you can see that, but see where the ball is kind of lifting up right there? So let's see. So that went in about that far. That is definitely a male. All right. So we're going to clean this off right here. All right. Sorry, little dude. Invasion of privacy. We're going to go ahead and get the next one. All right. So here is baby normal number two. This is from... Bin number two, and this is the one I originally thought was a girl until all of those bananas came out females and then after the video I went back and checked and this is definitely a male. Okay, see you can't even tell that there's any lube on there. Oh, you can tell a little bit. That's a little too much. You just want it just enough to coat it. Okay, so let's find this little guy's back end if he'll let me. All right, and the same thing. We're going to go off to one side. You just want to be super, super gentle. All right, dude, you're kind of at the wrong angle here. Okay. And the same thing. I don't know if you can see that where I'm kind of lifting up. The same thing. That one went down quite a bit further. Definitely a male. So, just like we thought, or <laughs> I thought after the fact, this one is also a male. All right, here's the sweet, just regular banana. So, same thing, get a little bit of lube over here. Come on, honey. Told my kids we had to confirm that they were boys and girls because they are eager to pick names for these little ones. All right, come on. Let's get you relaxed here. Okay, same thing. Find the cloaca off to one side. A little bit easier said and done with some of these. Okay, here, we'll go off to this side then, honey. Okay, same thing, very gentle. And that's it. That's it for the female. Just a tiny, tiny little bit. So, little girl number one. All right, this little banana black pastel from bin number four. Same thing, just a tiny bit. A little too much there. Come on, you. Okay, same thing. Insert, very gentle. And 
that one went in about that far. I don't know. That one's going in. That one's going in pretty far. Let's try popping this one again. It's like kind of in between. Oh, I'm pretty sure this one's a girl. Yep, this one is a girl. See, there's that tiny little white scent gland. There's nothing else there. This one just went in a little bit further for a girl. All right. All right, here's our first banana black pastel mahogany. And this is the one with the paradox. It's starting to get a little bit brighter there. Has that nice head stamp. This is the this is my favorite out of the clutch if you didn't see our last video. All right, same thing. Sanitize, got a little bit of lube. Let's flip this baby over. Same thing, just very, very gentle. And that's it for that one. Very, very shallow. All right, another little girl, bunch of keepers. And this last one to shed out, we believe is a uh, banana black pastel mahogany as well. Look at the belly on this one. So cool. Look, it's kind of transparent. You can kind of see a little bit of the organs in there, the different colors, because the belly is so white. It's crazy. Okay. Got to sanitize a little bit of luby. Okay. Same thing. Very, very gentle. I don't know, some of these are going in a little bit further than I would expect for females. Hmm. That's why I always kind of do both. Now this one's gonna poo on me. But I'm pretty sure this one is still a girl because that is. So, another little girl. All right, I'm gonna take out one of the other ones and show you when I pop them. Sorry for the destruction, I do have kids. So let's take out one more and I wanna show you the hemipenes. Now, obviously my popping skills are improving. Now, when you pop, if you're gonna practice, um, try not to pop on these babies more than like twice a week. Um, cause you can actually cause damage and you don't want to do that. So, okay. And there it is. There is that little teeny hemipene. So this one, definitely a boy. And then one more time, this was number one. Just wanted to show you guys cause. And hemipene. So that's the difference. Those other girls, they just have those little tiny white glands. And then the boys, they have those little tiny hemipenes. So that is it for today's video. Just going over a little bit of how to sex your baby ball pythons. A little bit of popping again. Uh, my popping has definitely improved. It just takes a little bit of practice to kind of figure out the pressure. Um, other than that, it really isn't that hard. Um, as you can see in my last video, I just needed to practice a little bit more. My pressure, I wasn't giving enough pressure in order to push it out, which I've kind of figured out the pressure now. So now I can do it and it's no problem. And then of course the probing, I always like to probe just to give that that second you know, reassurance, especially because we are gonna be selling some babies in the future and I wanna make sure that I am giving the proper sex to the customer, obviously. If you order a boy, you want a boy. If you purchase a girl, you want the girl, right? And every once in a while I've heard of, you know, maybe miss sexing, but it doesn't happen very often because people have gotten really good at sexing their animals. And again, our Mail is, which, let me get, let me get our mail real quick. Oh, psych. He's with another girl right now. I can't get him. But so that little boy is a female maker. Yes. So we confirmed he is a female maker, which means in the future, any banana offspring that he produces will in fact be a female. Now there is a small chance he could produce a male, but 
it doesn't happen very often. And then, of course, any of the clutch that comes out that it does not have banana in the combinations will automatically be a male. So that is something to know. I'm going to be marking that down on his card that he is a female maker, which is not a bad thing. It's actually very cool. So we know that every time we get bananas now, we got, we're going to have a lot of females. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, drop them down below. As I said, I will leave the link to our pro kit down in the description below. I got it off of Amazon. Um, I'll let you know how it works out for the future. It is supposedly 100% um, stainless steel, so it should last a very long time. So, again, thank you for watching. Thank you, everybody, for subscribing. Can't wait till we hit that thousand mark here. Hopefully in the next month and a half. It's going to be super, super awesome. <sighs> I'll see you guys in the next one. Stay safe. Stay sane. Get out there and make your own footprints. Bye.